Assalamu alaikum everybody Tim Muhammad New video Y'all see the subject We are gonna address all of the naysayers Everybody who talk about The messengers, wives And and the ages of the wives We are gonna address all of that In today's video Please hit that like and subscribe For more great information Great videos, great content like this I really appreciate it And after we watch this video I want someone else to have something to say after this. After this evidence, after this proof, after these brothers break it, break it down, I want to see what y'all gonna say. Let's go. Tim Mom. Back up a little bit. If I no, may ask a question uh, tying into that in a little bit. And again, this is somewhat sensitive. I think it's indisputable. The work, the upliftment, the enlightenment that the Honorable Elijah Muhammad did mentally, spiritually, economically with the businesses. But if there is to be what many consider a blemish possibly in his leadership or maybe in his judgment, I'll see how you deal with it, was at that point as a leader of the Nation of Islam that he took on several, I don't know what you would consider women, okay, wives, uh, that some were of the teenage years and uh, he had children with them. Now, he was legally married or under this system, he was married. How was that looked on? Was that a choice that was in line with his leadership or was that a battle? You know? No, that choice was Islam and that choice was African. Polygyny is an Islamic tradition and it's an African tradition. And let me be real clear, those were his wives. And the children born from them were his children. The children from his wives. You know, the African, I would really implore you and us to study the African tradition of polygyny. You know, you want to trip on the age of his wives, well then, raising that issue is a very non-African thing to do. Because so-called child marriage, see, child marriages is how Europeans characterize the traditional African practice. Now, child meaning including so-called teenagers, but all of the wives of the of the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad, they weren't little babies. They were his wives. And was that a blemish on his leadership? Absolutely not. It was a very Islamic thing to do. It was a very African thing to do. And it was a very <laughs> foresighted thing to do because the Honorable Elijah Muhammad's concern was the propagation of his spiritual legacy. And the children that were born to him previously, he understood, were not going to be the ones to propagate his spiritual legacy. And so he bore children from believing women that would and that are propagating his spiritual legacy. So, that was a wise move on the messenger of So Allah. in saying they were his wives, there was an actual ceremony that he took them as, or was it because it didn't... You know he's a Muslim, right? So okay. I don't know what ceremony, I don't know if you're okay. looking for a Christian ceremony. No, no, no. Don't apply, don't apply right. Western Christian standards. Right. Don't imprison, mm -hmm. you know, this Muslim black man from America who rejected Western culture rejected Western institutionalism. Don't hold him to that standard. That's unfair and disingenuous. But even under Islam, he took them through a ceremony that had them acknowledged as his wife. He took them through the same ceremony, if you will, as Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, did when he took them as a wife. He did what he, as a messenger of Allah, as a Muslim man, was able to do to have wives, to take wives. I was not aware of that. I had always thought it was never acknowledged that they were somehow pushed away from the family. And... Every relationship has disputes. Are you married? No. Have you been married? No. Okay. Anyone who was, is or has ever been married knows that there will be rough times in the marriage. That's right. There will be disagreement. There will be face-to-face -face throwdown. I'm through with you. I hate you. All of that is part of marriage. And the messengers of God are not exempt from those very human realities when it comes to male-female relationships. I have another question. Shout out to Brother Dr. Wesley Muhammad. Now, I want somebody out there 
to grab y'all Bibles and tell me how many wives did the uh, disciples of Jesus have? How many wives did David have? How many wives did Solomon have? How many wives did uh, Abraham have? Y'all do your Googles and figure that out. And this go, and this is also a good message for all of y'all who won't follow the nation of Islam, but y'all go follow up the Arabs. Prophet Muhammad, may Allah be pleased with him, said that he was quote unquote engaged to his youngest wife when she was maybe nine or eleven, but they didn't consummate the uh, marriage until she was 13 but we got y'all sitting here duped by Malcolm we're gonna bring him to the stand too as a matter of fact let's bring Malcolm them to the stand right now man so when it was known uh, among the Chicago officials that I had a knowledge of this they become very fearful of me. They became very antagonistic toward me, and they, they, had, they had to do something to diminish the authority that I had for fear that if this became public knowledge, the followers would leave the Muslim movement and follow me. And it was at that time that they used the statement that I made against President Kennedy as a pretext to cut my authority, and uh, some other things happened that finally uh, produced the split. Uh, came out, and he, was a, he had been a minister, and he was very religious and spiritual, and when he began to hear these rumors around Chicago, he went to one of the sisters, and the sister admitted to him that the rumor was true. And uh, it was he who first told me about it. And when he told me about it, I, took, I wrote to Mr. Muhammad and told him about it, and he admitted that he had a knowledge of it, and that uh, he'd given me a religious explanation that would fit into prophecy and all of that, so I was quiet. And it wasn't until October of uh, 1963 that it came up again. And when it came up again, I realized that the same person who had uh, made these other sisters pregnant was still busy doing the same thing. He hadn't stopped. Two of the sisters had two children by the same man. And one of, the two, one of those two sisters was pregnant still, getting ready to have a third child by the same man. So when it was known uh, among the Chicago officials that I had a knowledge of this, they become very fearful of me. They became very antagonistic toward me, and they, they, had, they had to do something to diminish the authority that I had for fear that if this became public knowledge, the followers would leave the Muslim movement and follow me. And it was at that time that they used the statement that I made against President Kennedy as a pretext to cut my authority. Dang, and, is this thing on uh, a repeat? Some other things happened that finally uh, produced the split or forced the split. And when I made the split, the only reason that I didn't make this public knowledge was I knew the implications and I, I felt that if the uh, Muslims who were in the uh, nation of Islam knew it, that which enabled them to be so strongly religious and uh, exercise moral discipline would be shattered and it would cause all of them to go right back and start doing the things that they had been doing previously. Who is the father of all of these various children whom you have enumerated? Uh, the first one to tell me who the father was was Wallace Muhammad and he told me that the father was Elijah Muhammad himself. One of the sisters, uh, he went to the home of one of the sisters and when he walked in the door she said, I want to let you see something. And she uh, showed him her child. She said, here's your brother. And your father is the one, your father is the father of this child. And then I questioned the sisters myself because it, I was shook up. And they admitted to me that Elijah Muhammad was the father of their children. And I took it to him. And it was at that time he told me that he was Muhammad, the prophet, and that Muhammad had nine wives. He also told me that he was David. He was the modern David and that he, that he was the modern Solomon and that he, he was meant, it was meant for him to fulfill today all of the things that they did back then. And how many of these illegitimate children did he father with the sisters? Well, he made uh, six sisters pregnant. They all had children. Two of those six had two children. Today, all of the things that they did back then. And how many of these illegitimate children did he father with the sisters? Well, he made uh, six sisters pregnant. They all had children. Two of those six had two children. Uh, uh, one of those two is having a child right now. I am told that there is a seventh sister who is supposed to be in Mexico right now, and she's supposed to be having a child by him. That sounds like Mother Tarnetta. Six sisters pregnant. They all had children. Two of those six had two children. Uh, uh, one of those two is having a child right now. I am told that there is a seventh sister 
who were supposed to be in uh, six sisters pregnant. They all had children. Is he doing this on purpose? Two of those six had two children. Uh, uh, one of those two is having a child right now. I am told that there is a seventh sister who is supposed to be in Mexico right now, and she's supposed to be having a child by him. Yeah, he must have been doing it on purpose. He must have trying to drive it home or something. But I think that's talking about mother. My family. He said that there were six women that were having children for the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. And he said that there might even be a seventh sister. And he said that she's in Mexico right now that's getting ready to have a child by the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. Okay? So, now, the sister that he's describing that was in Mexico is Mother Tynetta Muhammad. Mm -hmm. Okay? Now, this list is a list of the sister's names, and it's seven sisters. Mm-hmm. He done found them sister all. Sister Lucille, Sister Evelyn, Sister Ola, Sister Joan, Sister Tynetta, excuse me, mothers, Mother Lavetta, Mother Bernie. Okay? These are all grown women. Okay, I'm gonna show you. I I when I as I did my research, I was not able to find anything on Sister Lavetta or her daughter. Okay, I've searched and I've looked. But all of these sisters up here and sister down here, I was able to find, okay? But brother Ishmael was mother Tynetta Muhammad's first child. The same year, Malcolm X made the accusation against the Honorable Elijah Muhammad in his interview with Mike Wallace was in 1964, the same year that brother Ishmael was born, okay? The same year. And that's the sister that is in Mexico, because that's where Sister Mother, that's where Mother Tynetta is from, is from Mexico. Speaks Spanish and everything, her and her children. Okay, but let's go and see how old Mother Tynetta was in 1934. Whew. In 1934, hold on, hold on real quick. Mother Tynetta was born May 10th, 1941. She was born May 10th, 1941. So let's see how old sister was in 1960. Okay, in 1964, excuse me. In 1964 with her first child, let's see how old Mother Tynetta was. Make sure he share that screen, brother. I'm sorry. I got Sister Evelyn up here again. That was supposed to be Mother Tynetta. But let's go to the calculator then, because numbers don't lie. Go on to them numbers, bro. Sister was born in 1941. Let's go, let's go to the Google calculator. In 1964. Minus 1941. Mother Tynetta Muhammad, pardon me, share my screen. Nineteen sixty-four minus nineteen forty-one. Mother Tynetta Muhammad would have been twenty-three years old. The day, the the same year that Brother Malcolm X accused the messenger of sleeping with underage teenage girls mm. and the one that he described that was in Mexico, Mother Tynetta Muhammad, she was 23 years old. Come on, family. Okay, she was of the legal age of consent. Just the math here. Get your calculator out. Okay. The legal age of consent. Even if, even if this list right here is 100% accurate, and Medea Muhammad came first in 1963. She would have been 22 years old. Mm-hmm. Come on now. This is nothing. Is nothing wrong with that? Of course, there was considerably an age gap between the messenger and his other wives. But those are his wives, and they were of legal age of consent. Sister 
Bernie. I wasn't able to find any actual pictures on Mother Bernie. But besides that one on social media, and Sister was born May 3rd, 1941, the same year that Mother Tynetta was born, just seven days prior to Mother Tynetta. Seven days prior. How old was she when she had her first child? And she had her first child in 1965. Sister was 24 years of age. Come on now. Sister was 24 years of age. See, see, numbers don't lie in Islam. Is mathematics and mathematics is Islam. <laughs> Let's see if they're gonna come on this see, video and here. You have all these people who's pushing comedic science. You have these people that's pushing to go back to Africa, get closer back to Africa. Mm-hmm. Back to nature. But what's more African than polygyny? Because in Africa, they are pr practicing that. They are practicing polygyny. But the members in the Nation of Islam were commanded not to practice that. That was only ordained for the messenger, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. See, that was already ordained for him because Master Far Muhammad gave him the command to go ahead and take on more wives. So how can you be upset with the messenger for practicing something that you say that you subscribe to? See people. See people. See when and then when they come with the when, when they are upset that he took on more wives, then they go ahead and lie and accuse him of sleeping with teenage girls. With under. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm getting a little sleepy, family man. As y'all can see, man, I'm getting a little tired, man. I was up all last night working, but I just want to at least play that much. I'm pretty sure he got a lot more, but I got to head to Alabama today. Uh, I got to head to Alabama, man. I got a. Uh... Somebody said, "Let's be advised." I found out Michael Jordan, who owned prisons, is a white man. Yeah, I've been telling people that for years, man. Everybody keeps saying Michael Jordan owned prisons and all this. They've been saying that for years, and I researched. It took me one Google search, maybe maybe three years ago, and it and it clearly shows it's a white man from Oregon who's invested in the private prisons, man. Not that Michael Jordan. But we just keep saying it over and over again. We don't let this rumor just blast out. You know what I'm saying? Now, if you saying Michael Jordan, he ain't supporting you or he ain't doing that. Okay, fine. But that's not. Don't add nothing to it. Don't be adding extra to it. You know, there's many charities he's done. I mean, he got a black style. I mean, of course he can do more. We can do more. But at the same time, let's not add something to the brother that ain't that ain't there. Now, if you want to say he ain't did this, okay, fine. But let's not be adding stuff. It's a white man. White man from Oregon named Michael Jordan. But that's, you know, that's a whole other video, family. But I just wanted to come on here, man, and show you guys that. Because a lot of people y'all like to use that as an excuse. Oh, well, you ain't with all that because he did this. Oh, whatever. You don't know what you're talking about. All right, family. So share this out to your family and friend. I know you got somebody in your family who think like this. If you're in the nation of Islam or you interested, you're going to have this come up. Or you know the arm, you know, Elijah Muhammad, and he had all them young. You don't know how old was he. This, this, when I first came in, I didn't know the actual fact yet, but I asked him a question. How old was he? Well, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I'm just going on what they is. It's always, they, it's always going to be, I'm going on what they said. I'm going on what he said. They never did the research. For themselves, they just they just repeating themselves. I mean, they just repeating what other people say. So next time somebody ask, ask them a question, say, "What's their name?" Now that's what I used to say. I used to say, "What's their names?" Well, how old were they? I don't know. I'm just you know, I'm just I'm just I'm telling you what they told me back in 1973. I ain't making it on now. I ain't about trying to hear all that, man. So as you see, man, brother Malcolm Flex, he came, he brought you the, he, he brought you the actual facts. He gave you the names. He even shows you how brother uh, uh, Malcolm said around 1964, one had two, the other one had three. He showed you which one had three, which one had two. Like I mean, you you can't dispute this. You can't dispute it. The facts 
speak for themselves. So thank you all for watching, family. Let me know what y'all think below in the comments. If you guys would like to subscribe to the channel, please hit the like button. Please hit the subscribe button. If you would like to support the channel, go to www.patreon.com slash brotherbenx, www.patreon.com patreon p-a-t-r-e-o-n dot com slash brother ben x if you are in mobile alabama i will be in mobile alabama today uh i'll be speaking with brother 19 keys about an entrepreneur on an entrepreneurship course or look class we're gonna have a panel event whatever we're gonna have and then that sunday i'm speaking at the mosque in mobile alabama as well and my lecture is our rise is their demise so thank y'all for watching family y'all have a blacktastic day where the haters at? We got birthdays, we got the women names, we got the all the information that y'all need. What y'all gonna say now? You see your boy Malcolm lying, huh? You see him lying, right? Y'all, y'all did just catch him lying? Malcolm Isis, where are you? It's disrespectful and it's blasphemy to disrespect the most honorable Elijah Muhammad and even put them in the same realm as some of y'all sick child predators. And when I say y'all, I'm talking about the people who Malcolm was sitting there talking to, the people who the Malcolmites really happy that he split so y'all can have y'all people in because he wanted to become a regular uh, Muslim, right? He went over there and found Islam because he seen black Muslims eating with white Muslims. You think Malcolm was that ignorant to not have known that before that? And did, and did y'all also know the messenger sent him over there before that? He'd been over there before. You think he's ignorant enough to let that one scene change his whole ideology of the world and to change the reality of what's going on in his own backyard and up in America? Y'all gotta be kidding me. Malcolm X lied. Huh? He lied. I got another video that I'ma save when he admit of when he admitted of him lying. And he tried to apologize, but he didn't want to put the fires out that he started. All y'all blasphemy Negroes out there, stop disrespecting the messenger. Do your Googles, do your homework. Tim Muhammad out. Please like and subscribe, y'all. I really appreciate it. I'm out.